All right, so this week we're going to talk a little bit about how to create the outline for your informal report. Hopefully last week you and your group members were able to <clears throat> do some research uh, looking at your measurable criteria <clears throat> that you chose for your informal report um, and found some good information, some facts, some details that are going to allow you to build your informal report to be able to give some estimated costs on what it's going to cost to do the building expansions, um, what it would, whatever your measurable criteria was. Um, for the example today, we're going to use cost, square footage, timeline, and parking spaces uh, as our measurable criteria. So based on the three alternatives that we came up with it, to solve the problem of our facility, um, we are going to look at those measurable criteria. So let's look at what that means. So when you're building your outline, your outline should follow this pretty much exactly. Okay, you need to have number one introduction, A is your background, that's going to give me all the details of what you guys decided for your company. Um, you're going to tell me what the problem was. Um, and the fact that it has been determined that an expansion is needed in order to um, solve that problem. That's what's in your background. You can also include any restrictions. So if you have a budget of X number of dollars or a uh, timeline goal of a specific cer certain amount of time that you want the um, remodeling or building to be completed by, those can all be included in this background information as well. Um, your alternatives, okay, the alternatives are exactly this. This is exactly what it should say in the alternatives, because basically what you've said is you're saying that we have this problem and the way we've decided to solve this problem is by choosing one of these three alternatives. And the three alternatives are to stay in the current facility and increase the, the um, well, stay in the current facility and remodel that facility, right? Purchase a new property um, and build to suit your needs or um, find a larger existing structure and remodel that building. Okay, so those are the three alternatives that you were given. I realize these read a little bit different, but they mean the same thing. Okay, so those are the alternatives. This is going to be its own separate paragraph stating that these are the alternatives um, and solutions that you've come up with. Okay, next we have our facts and findings. And what this is, is you're taking each of those three alternatives and you're going to talk specifically about the measurable criteria that is specific to that um, alternative, right? So if I remain in the current facility and remodel it, this is what the cost would be, this is what the square footage would be, this is what the timeline would be, this is what the parking lot would be, parking spaces would be for that particular option. Then I'm going to do it for the next option, same thing. What are those measurable criteria? And you're going to put it in paragraph format, read it so that it reads very nicely and flows very evenly. And you may even have some reasoning behind um, why this is a, a good option. And again, here you're using your measurable criteria, not these specifically, okay? Whatever you and your team chose. Um, so you're going to talk specifically about what those costs are. Um, I should probably see some kind of diagrams like a, um, maybe a bar chart that kind of can estimate between the three of these, okay? Um, actually, that's gonna go down here, I apologize. Um, but up here, if you had any pictures of, like if you are remodeling an existing structure that you purchased, then you could go on to Zillow or something like that, find an actual um, property that you could purchase that would meet your needs and show that image and talk about that specific location in that area, okay? Um, so you do that with each of those, and you're really just talking about the benefits of that specific option for that specific alternative. Now, when we get down to discussion and analysis, this is where you're going to compare between the three options the cost, right? So I'm looking at cost for all three of these options. Here's where you would use the bar chart, excuse me, to show what those differences in those costs are. So it's very visual here. Um, and you're going to talk about the pros and the cons of each option option based on cost. Then you're going to go to your next measurable criteria and do the same thing, right? So in this section, I'm talking about 
comparing the square footage between all three of the alternatives and showcasing the pros and cons to each. Here you could talk about um, if you have excess square footage, you might talk about um, the potential for future expansion, right? So some those kind of things. But on the con side, you have wasted space that you're not using. Um, so you can kind of look at those two ideas, right? Um, your project timeline in this case, right? Each one of those, depending on, on the build, is going to take a different amount of time. And so here you could do uh, like a line chart and talk about the um, the time differences that each one is going to take to to um, require um, parking space, right? Same thing. You've got all these these three different options, and, and make sure that um, you're showcasing the pros and cons between each based on just that one measurable criteria. And whatever your measurable criteria are, that's what you're going to fill in here, and you're going to be talking about the pros and cons between them. So this is your discussion and your analysis of how these different facilities compare against each other. Then in your conclusion, you're actually going to do your conclusion and your recommendations at the very end. And the conclusion portion is going to showcase the pros and cons and how um, whatever your decision was based on these um, pros or these cons, right? So maybe cost, for example, um, it might be cheaper to choose one of the alternatives. However, it doesn't meet the requirements or the needs um, of your other measurable criteria. And therefore, that would be the reason that you didn't necessarily choose cost as the determining factor, right? So I might say something like, um, despite the increased costs, um, we found that the benefit of um, the additional square footage would have more potential um, income opportunities, right? Something along those lines. Uh, it'll completely depend on the research that you've done, the facts that you've found, and the calculations that you've done to figure out cost and whatever else your measurable criteria are in order to build this conclusion. But just know that the whole idea behind this conclusion is to say, okay, we've done all this research based on the research that we found and comparing our measurable criteria. These are the reasons that we are recommending this option. All right, so that is how you're going to build your outline. And then once you have this outline built, you can actually start writing your first draft and it should follow right along with um, what your outline looks like. Like I said, you're going to have number one introduction, a background, and then you're going to put some details about your background there. Uh, B alternatives. This is the alternatives, right? Those three alternatives that we gave. Then you're going to do number two, facts and findings. Each one of the three alternatives is your A, B, and C. And then your one, two, three, and four are your four measurable criteria. And those are going to be the same on each one. I encourage you that if you've done, got all your research done to go ahead and put in additional information for your measurable criteria if you have it. If you don't have it, that's okay. Um, but that means you're not done with your research if you don't have that information. So you need to go back and, and make sure you're getting that filled in uh, so that you can write your draft and eventually your final copy. All right. Then you're going to do number three, discuss and analyze and, cri and the criteria. Here you're going to put your first measurable criteria, whatever that is, and you're going to give as much information as you can within here based on the research that you found. Uh, your second measurable criteria all the information you can find, include the pros and cons if you have them, comparing the three alternatives, C, your third measurable criteria, and D, your fourth measurable criteria. When you go to write this, each of these will be separate paragraphs, all right, um, with heading, header, I'm sorry, headings. <laughs> and then finally, you're going to write your, um, your conclusions and your recommendations. If you have the ability to fill this in now, go for it. If you do not have enough of your research done yet, then you can put something like this that will state that you will fill this in later. Okay. All right. I hope that helps you to have a better understanding of what you're doing this week. If you have any further questions, please, by all means, feel free to email me and the TA, and we're more than happy to help you, um, help you with whatever questions you have. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.